Northern California has been greeted by a turbulent New Year's visitor, an atmospheric river. In Wilton, California, torrential rain submerged farmland. At least two levees broke down. In Placerville, California, residents woke to find flooded roads and a trail of mud and debris. In neighborhoods and streets around the San Francisco Bay Area, people had to deal with dangerous road conditions that resulted in numerous accidents and cars being stranded. We've been careful because Californians don't really know how to drive in the rain. I live in the hillside in the east side and it just totally flooded <laughs> and it became a large lake. Yeah, I've been riding horses in Menlo Park for 20 years and there's a creek there and it was flowing almost overflowing. The horses were up to their knees in water like we've never experienced that in my life out there. As residents across Northern California deal with the harsh rainy conditions, there's also hope that some good will actually come out of it. For the vast majority of the year, this area and the entire state of California are dealing with the exact opposite problem, not enough rain. Before the atmospheric river hit, this is what farmland in California typically looked like amid the driest three-year period on record. Last year, California's gross crop revenues fell by $1.7 billion. I'm optimistic that at least Northern California, we're gonna have a good healthy snowpack and the reservoirs are gonna fill and it's gonna make it less dire than it it looked like uh, at the start of the season, but California's water reach is long. So to, to really move the needle on California drought, you need not only the rain and snow up here, but all the way down into the Colorado River Basin up into the Rocky Mountains. In recent years, the hot and dry conditions have also contributed to some of the worst wildfires in California history. Pinter believes the heavy rain will help some. Discussions about wildfire, at least this year have subsided. We had a relatively mild wildfire season this last year compared to the monsters of previous years in California. And so I think things are not gonna burn this winter, but like drought, like flooding, wildfire is a long-term problem. And those, those issues of climate change, uh, fuel loads are a big part of that. Th those are going to reappear next fall. Meteorologists are predicting heavy rain to continue in Northern California for another week, and at least through the middle of the month. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.